stage of the evening we normally get to the big questions and the first one relates to a fantastic performance last night by Anthony Mundine who is now one step closer to a chance at another world title after he defeated previously unbeaten Belarusian Sergei Rabchenko in a split decision last night in Melbourne. The victory gave the 39 year old the WBC silver a light middleweight title and potentially a fight against boxing's biggest star Floyd Mayweather Jr. Our big question is Anthony Mundine one of Australia's greatest ever Sportsman. Howie, if you take out some of the missteps that Anthony Mundine's put in along the way with some of his comments, some of his comments, and for some people that's impossible to do, to put that to one side. If you can do that and you just focus on what Mundine's done as an athlete, as a sportsman, a rugby league player, and now as a boxer, he has to sit in the pantheon of Australian sports people. No question about it. Some people will never allow him to be there because they can't forgive and they won't forget. But if you can... What he's done is spectacular. Hardly done by anybody before him. And he was fantastic last night. He went in as a massive underdog. I like that he speaks his mind, says mm. it how it is. He pumps himself up. This was his entire interview post-fight last night. I loved it. Well, Anthony Munzan, congratulations on what many of us believe was the greatest victory of your career. Well, because you thought I was done. You all thought I was done. But I'm not done until I say I'm done. I've got a few more, make a few mil, and I'm out. Thanks. Well, he's certainly not done. He got the job done. And was that a post-fight post interview or post-fight rap? It no, sounded well, like he was doing a bit of freestyle there. I kind one, of enjoyed that. The one thing he did last night was beat a genuine contender. His Rabchenko mm. was a super talent coming in, undefeated out of 25 fights, 17 by knockouts. The, to get that scalp was outstanding by Monday. Yeah, 